Okay, today it's Mr. Hammer back here. I'm going to be taking up section 8.1, page 294, questions number 2, 6, 7, and 9. That's what was requested. So let's take a look at number 2 here. Write each fraction as a percent. Sketch number lines to show how the numbers are related. So I'm going to first make myself a line. Here we go. All right, here is a line tool. There we go. Okay, so we're going to start over here and we're going to say that down here is going to be percent and up here I'm going to put F for fractions. Um, where it says percent, we're going to know we're going to start with zero and fractions also going to be zero. All the way over here we're going to have the fraction of one which is also equal to 100%. We're looking for one quarter. We want to turn that into a fraction. So we take one quarter and we know we need to get it equal to some number over 100. Whatever the number is over 100, that's going to be my percent. So 4 times 25 gets me 100. So we're going to have to do the same thing up at the top, multiply by 25. And that will give me 1 times 25, which is 25. Nice and easy. 25 then becomes our percent. So 1 quarter equals 25%. 4 quarters makes a dollar. That's 25%. All right, so now where's that going to be on our number line? Well, we kind of can eyeball it and say that this looks about halfway through, so that's about 50%. So over here is where we're going to have our quarter, or 25%, halfway between 0 and 50. Let's get some eraser action happening here. Erase, 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 erase. Back to our pencil here. Whoops, I missed a little bit. Erase, erase. Back here, so how do they relate? Well, 1 quarter is equal to 25%. And that is how we do it on a number line. Now let's do that for B. B is 3 over 10. I'm going to clear my page here. And we're going to use this same number line. And we're going to start again with 0% at the bottom and 0 as a fraction. And we're going to end up with 1 as a fraction. And over here we're going to end up with 100% and 30%. Well, we know let's mark our 50%. That's always a good place to start. And 30 is going to be, we're now up to divide 50 into, into 5 equal steps. So let's kind of eyeball that. 10, 20, 30, 40. It's a little bit off, but there we go. So that would be 30% right over here. So how do we know this is 30%? I kind of jumped the gun there. Basically, we're going to turn that into some number over 100. Well, 10 times 10 gives us 100. 3 times 10 will give us 30 so that's how we know that 3 over 10 is 30%. Okay, so 3 over 10 is equal to 30%. And that's how we show it on our number line. I don't know if there are more questions. Apparently the question continues. Let's go over here. Let's see if I can do it right this time. Another number line over here for 7. There we go. So we're going to have 0%. And then as a fraction, we're going to start with 0, and fractions end up with 1. And here we have 100%. Okay, 7 over 5. Let's, multi let's figure out what number that equals to over 100. 5 times 20 gives us 100. So 7 times 20 will give us 140. So we have 140%. Okay, well, we have a problem here because I ended up at 100. I made an assumption that it ends at 100, and that assumption was bad. So we're going to have to actually make this number line smaller here. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Tap it. I should be able to truncate it. That means make it smaller. And I'm going to add another number line here. I'm going to add another number line. Uh, continuing from that one, and it's going to keep going. And so what's going to happen here is I've got my 1 and my 100% over here. And I've extended that number line because we actually have to go 40% higher. So if this is 50%, approximately, and I eyeball it, I just kind of look at it, um, then I know about this much is 40%, so I need to add about that much there. And so this is going to be approximately 140%. And over here, what would we write? Well, 100% is the same as the number 1, so as a number, Oh, I forgot we're dealing with fractions, not numbers. Let me erase that over here. As a fraction, we have 140 over 100, which is also equal to our original fraction of 7 over 5. So this is the part that we're looking at, and we're noticing that it's above 100%. Okay.
Question number six. This orange square represents 25% of a larger figure. Use two centimeter grid paper. You can use whatever paper you want to for this question. We want to draw 50% of the larger figure. Then we want to draw 75% of the larger figure. And then we want to draw the larger figure and then 125%. Well, I'm going to start by drawing the larger figure because that's going to make it easier for me. And you should always feel free in questions to make it easier for you. You don't have to start with A. If you start with C and that helps you, go ahead. So I'm going to start with C and I'm going to make my larger figure and I can pull these nice little squares out over here, stick them over here. So that's 25% of my larger figure. Well, if 25% is of my larger figure, I know I need 25%, 50%, 75%, 100%. 100% 100 would be my larger figure because 100% equals one. So I'm going to need four of these then to make my larger figure. It doesn't tell me what my larger figure looks like, so I'm going to go ahead and just make a decision that it's going to be a square. So one, two, three, four squares, that gives me 100%. And I can write that on there just so that I remember, 25. Each of these is 25%. And that way I know I hit 100%. So I've done C. There's my larger figure. So now to do 50% of the larger figure, well, I'm just going to need two of these. So this is A. There we go. I drew 50%. And B is 75%, so I'm going to take three of these, because three times 25 is 75. So there's one, two, and three. They kind of don't align perfectly. There we go. And the last one, 125%. So again, more than 100%. This is another example of how you can have more than 100%. So... That's 50%, 75%, 100%, and one more, 125%. Okay, that's question number six. Let's move on to question number seven. Okay, this is an interesting question. Let's take a look. You will need a sheet of paper and colored pencils. Divide the paper into these four sections. Blue section is one half of the page. Red section is 10% of the page. I'm gonna use my colored markers. So red is 10%, yellow is 25%, and green, green is the remaining space. And it says what percentage of the page is the green section. So that's what we're going to have to find out over here. Blue. There we go. There's blue. Okay. So let's draw our page. I'm going to make it look like a regular sheet of paper here. Something like this. There's your page. And my blue section is about half the page. So I'm going to kind of eyeball it and say, well, that's about the halfway mark down. And so I'm going to draw my square a rectangle of half the page. So this is about half the page. I'm going to fill that in with blue. And there we go. There's my 50% that is going to be blue. That's my 50% right here. I know that one half equals 50%. So it's 50% or one half. Then red section is 10%. Yellow is 25%. So again, I'm going to skip ahead because 10% is a little trickier. Uh, but 25% is going to be uh, pretty easy here. Um, so let's go 25%, um, which is going to be half of 50%. So I'm going to assume, I know this is 50% here. I'm going to kind of mark a little point here. That gives me an idea that these two sections here, if I put a line, are each going to be equal to 25%. So I'm going to draw again a rectangle here. And this is going to be my yellow. So let's fill that with yellow, and boom, I now have my yellow, which should be 25%, which we also know is equal to one quarter. Okay, uh, red is gonna be 10% of the whole page. This is kind of the tricky one here, and 
uh, so I know this section here is 25%. I know that because that's 25%. Um, I can't kind of just eyeball 10, but I could eyeball five. I could divide this into five sections, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. And then when I add two fives, I'm gonna get 10. So this is where you use mental math. So I'm gonna look here, let's see if this works. Five, 10, 15, 20, and 25. So if I draw lines here, if I draw lines here, that should be 5%, this should be another 5%, another 5%, another 5, another 5. So each of these should be 5%. 5, 5, 5, 5, and 5. And I'm writing it out just so that I make sure that I'm on the right track. Uh, a lot of people, you do the work in your head, don't write it out, and then you lose track. So I always like to write things out. When I add these up, it adds up to 25. That's 25, they're the same size. I know I'm on the right track. I know now two of these are going to be equal to 10%. So I'm gonna draw my rectangle here and choose these two here, and that was going to be red. So let's get my red fill, my fill of red. I love red, there we go, red. And my remaining part is gonna be green, so I will put another section here, and that's gonna be my green. Whoops, green, and this will be green. And in terms of what the percentages are, well, we know that the red was 10, and we know here that this was five, five, and five. So we know that our green is going to be 15%. So this is visually one way to do it. We could do it mathematically. Mathematically actually is much, much simpler. So mathematically, we simply say, we wanna know what percentage of the page is green. So we say green is, we're gonna have the whole sheet, which is 100%. This whole sheet of paper is 100%, one sheet of paper. Um, then we're gonna subtract the blue, which is 50%. We're going to subtract the red, which is 10%. We're going to subtract the 25%, which is yellow. And whatever's left over should be the green. So 100 minus 50 minus 10, minus 25, so we're subtracting 50, plus 10, which is 60, plus 25, which is 85. So we're really doing 100 minus 85, and that's going to leave us with 15%. So there's the visual way to do it, and then there's the mathematical way to do it. Now we're gonna move on to the next question, which I believe is number nine. We're gonna skip eight and go right on to number nine. Suppose each pattern is continued on a 100 chart. They're talking about these one, two, three, four patterns here. The numbers in each pattern are colored red. For each pattern, what percent of the numbers on the chart are red? Explain your strategy for each pattern. So problems like this often kind of get confusing as you go through. I like to start with whatever I can and do whatever they tell me to do if possible. So the first thing they're telling me is that the numbers in each pattern are colored red. Well, I can do that. So let's start with the first one here. 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20, I'm gonna co color those red. 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20, colored red, beautiful. Now they're asking me for each pattern, what percent of the numbers on the chart are red? So we wanna know as a percentage, what percent of the numbers are red? Well, do we have any patterns here? Well, I kinda see a pattern. I see that I go three numbers, and then I have my red and then I go three more numbers, I skip three, and then I have another red. And then I skip one, two, three numbers, and I have another red. So every fourth number is going to be red. So if I were to say, what's the, the number of reds? Let me just erase that for a second. Number of red over total. I know that out of every four, if my total is four, one out of every four is red. So I can say my number of red is one over four. Now, one over four, our question is going to be, well, we have 100 is our total. So let's make 100 our total instead. Well, how do we go from four to 100? We multiply by 25. We're gonna do the same to the numerator. So out of 100, we would expect that 25 would be red. Let's go on to the next one. The next one is one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. I'm going ahead. So one, three, five, seven. There's my pattern. Basically, this one's a bit easier. 
One is red, we skip a number. One is red, skip a number. One is red, skip a number. So every second number, so the number of reds are basically equal to one of every two. And what's that going to be over 100? Well, we're going to multiply by 50, the denominator and the numerator. That's going to give us 50 over 100. And 50 over 100 is 50%. So 50% of the second pattern are going to be red. Now let's go and take a look at C. C is a little trickier. C, 2, 4, 8, 16. What's my pattern? Looks like we're multiplying. We take one number and then we multiply it by 2. And then we take 4, multiply it by 2. Take 8, multiply it by 2. Well, it isn't a, a simple circumstance of for every 3 or every 4 there's a red one. Now we're multiplying and getting what we call geometrically bigger. So I'm, because we only go up to 100, I'm simply going to circle all the numbers in this pattern. So from 16, when we multiply that by 2, we get up to 32. Then we'll get to 64, and that's it, because 64 times 2 is 128, and we're off past 100. Now I can simply count the number of red is simply equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, over 100. Whatever the number over 100, that's my percent. So that's 6% of this pattern are red. And let's go to the last one. 1, 3, 7, 13. Okay, this one's a little trickier. So I have to start with 1, then I skip 1. So I skip 1. Then I get another red. Then I skip 3. Then I get another red. Then I skip one, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna write that here in green. I skip five. So the greens are how many I skip. Well, one, three, five, those are odd numbers. We're going up by one, three, five. The next number should be seven. The next number after that should be nine, then 11, then 13. So now I should be skipping seven. And then I should get to a red. So let's try that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this should be a red. And now I should skip nine. So in green, I'm gonna have that nine. Well, there's nine right here. So here should be my next red. Now I should be skipping 11. And so let's count. There's nine here, 10, 11. So this should be my next red. Now I should be skipping 13 because we're going up by two. So here there are seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 that I'm skipping. So there is my red. Now I'm gonna skip two more, I'm gonna skip 15. So three, another 10, that's 13, 14, 15, 73. And let's see, we're gonna now skip 17. And so three, four, five, six, seven, and here's 10 more, so that's 17. And there's my last red. We're not gonna make it to another number because we're gonna skip 19 at this point. So now again, we can do Percentage of red, or number of red, is, and we can just add them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 out of 100, which is 10%. Any questions? No, you can't ask any questions because this is a recorded video. But if you did have any questions, you can simply hit me up on email at michael.hammer at tdsb.onowens.ca and I will answer your videos because I'm here for you. Even with COVID-19, I'm here, I'm not going anywhere. My job to teach you math, I'm gonna teach you math. On to 8.2 very soon.